Hey everyone, what I'm going to show you today is the ethers file in slash etc. Now you may be familiar with the hosts file which is um, you have your host IP address and you map it to a name so you can just um, type the name and ping it or do whatever and also in Wireshark if you have a, a host file that has your um, you know your host names mapped to an IP address you can show them in Wireshark um, if you want to resolve their names but you can do the same thing at layer 2 as well so for all the MAC addresses you can write a file that contains what, whatever you want to say it is, and then you can see that in Wireshark. So I'll, I'll go through that now and show you how it's done. Okay, I'm going to use Wi-Fi to demonstrate this. So I've just put my um, Wi-Fi card into monitor mode to do some captures here. And what I'll do is I'll start the capture in Wireshark and just give you a bit of a look. Now, what you can see, obviously, lots of beacons, lots of stuff. Um, some bits I've got going on here and a whole bunch of MAC addresses. Now the reason I've chose to do this in Wi-Fi is because it's encrypted so there's no you can't see the layer 3 stuff here so you can just see a whole bunch of frames bouncing around the air. Now if you have a look you'll see that there's some stuff here like Raspberry, CloudNet, Seiko, Aruba. If I just pick the, um, the one that I know is the scanner. Okay that's the OUI. So the first half of the MAC address is the vendor. That's why it's filled it in here and says it's Seiko, even though that's an Epson scanner. So what you've got here is a MAC address that's visible. But what I'll actually do is I'll just capture um, data frames. So type uh, data rather than the um, rather than the uh, management and control frames. So these are just data frames getting around. So what you've got here is some data that's encrypted. Now that'll be the IP address stuff and port and whatever, whatever data is in there. Um, but the layer 2 stuff is not encrypted. So it's handy in a capture where the payload's encrypted, but you can still see um, some layer 2 stuff unencrypted. So what I'll do is I'll close that and I'll just go to the etc directory. Now you may be familiar with the hosts file. That contains IP addresses to uh, names, but that's layer 3. What you can do is have a file called ethers. And I have prepared one earlier. So, copy that to here. So, I'll show you what's in that. It's just a bunch of MAC addresses and some sort of name that you want to put next to them. So, as you can see here, most of it's Home Assistant stuff. Um, there's the printer and scanner, so keep that in mind. And uh, some cameras and, and this, that, and the other. So, I've got the pond there twice, I've just noticed. Uh, that there twice. So now, watch what happens when I start a capture. I'll do it on the uh, wireless interface, and again, just, just use data frames to Keep it a little bit lower. So now what do you see? You see straight away the device that I've got it mapped to. So down here for the MAC address, that one there for instance, printer. It's got the real MAC, the full MAC address there as well. But at a glance I can see that that's the printer and everything else here. And also because I set up this profile like I did a while ago, I showed you in a couple of videos ago, where I've made retries red, they really jump out at you. So I can see the router is sending something to the MacBook a few times. The MacBook's supposed to be off, so I don't know what's going on there. Um, it's, it, there's an example of how it jumps out at you, so you can know what to investigate. So I'll look into that later. So it just makes it a whole lot clearer. Um, just let that run for a bit. You can see, obviously, those things in my um, EFAS file. The car spitting out multicast. Bloody Home Assistant doing its thing. A Raspberry Pi in the back room. A light. So that's the EFAS file. And if you go to Help About, you can see in the folders tab, you can see down here it says ethers, that's in ETC for the system. For you just your own, you've got another one here that you can have in your own uh, config, but system wide in ETC. Now if you go to edit preferences, uh, where are we? You'll see name resolution, resolve MAC addresses. If you don't want to resolve it, you can just untick that and it'll go back to just the raw MAC addresses. But I think by default that was on um, name resolution resolve MAC addresses. So it just makes life easier. So just thought I'd share that with you because I found out a few people hadn't actually heard of that and it's pretty handy so I thought I'd just let you know. And of course like I showed in a video recently you can use uh, T-Shark with color and do pretty much the same thing. So it's just nice and handy. Okay so that's the ethers file. It's pretty handy as I just showed you and it's very handy for Wi-Fi because um, even if you've got encrypted stuff uh, the layer 2 frames aren't encrypted, so it still helps you see easily, as you saw, um, what's going around in the air. So anyway, thought I'd share that with you, and that's all for now. Till next time, take it easy.